Hello everyone and welcome to today's presentation. As you can see by the title, Low 70s Golf, the five steps to scoring in the low 70s in as little as 90 days. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to keep the intro really brief and get right to it. Take some notes if you like. So who is this for? This is for golf and country club members who play golf two, three days a week, that have plateaued in their game, hit a wall in scoring, frustrated, stuck with high scores. You may go to the range, hit balls and practice, but you may not know what to practice or how to practice. You also know deep down that you're way better than you play. You have the talent inside of you, but just can't figure it out on your own. Whether you've been golfing for 12 months or 12 years or six years or 20 years, and just can't seem to break in the 70s and shoot par, this is for you. I know you love golf, you like to practice, you like to play, but you get angry and frustrated that you can't shoot par. So does any of this sound like you? If so, you're in the right place. Okay, so let me tell you what we're gonna be covering in the next 45 minutes. How to become a par birdie making machine without having to hit thousands of balls at the driving range. Aimlessly hitting balls at the range is actually harmful. If you want to transfer a motor control skill like golf to the scorecard, you need to have a standard and then performance measurements. How to add 10, 20, or even 30 yards to your drives, even if you've lost distance over the years or you've never even had distance. It's time to activate your body and get the correct sequence for distance and consistency. Three putting, double bogey or worse, and how to put a stop to a dead in its track. There's three reasons why you're not a great putter. No one ever taught you how to read a green. No one ever taught you how to hit your line. And you can't control your distance. Those are the three main reasons and we're gonna cover those. How to stay calm, confident, and be that guy others talk about back at the clubhouse because of how controlled and dominant you've been with your mindset, emotions, and course intelligence. How to get in the peak state for performance the moment you pull into the parking lot. Have a strategy on how to play the course with confidence and fun. How to do all this without hitting thousands of golf balls at the driving range every week. You'll learn about the three ways to practice and why what you do at the range is actually ingraining bad habits in your swing. You learn how to spin the ball with your scoring wedges even if you've never done it before. When you understand how to use the loft and the bounce of the wedges, hitting the perfect distance and having the ball stop dead in its track and spin back becomes natural for you. You learn how to master your bunker play without the dreaded skull. And once you see how easy it is, you won't mind putting in the green side bunker just like the PGA Tour pros. The simple strategy to an effortless, powerful, repeating golf swing that hits more fairways and greens and regulation like clockwork, even when the pressure's on. First, you train the brand new skill the correct way. Second, you practice with performance in mind. And third, you transfer to the course with your new integrated process. So does any of this sound like you? Do you have days where you can putt well in a few holes, but just can't seem to maintain it for 18 holes? All of a sudden, you three putt an easy hole and then it carries on to other holes during the round and your anger starts to build? Are you frustrated at how you hit the fairway at the start? And then all of a sudden you end up taking a six or seven on a par four. Maybe you hit it fat or chunk it. Or just as bad, you skull it over the green and then your fr frustration begins to build. Do you start every round wondering if you will slice it or hook it out of bounds? You know you have the talent, but cannot seem to hit a fairway with, with consistency? Do you secretly know that you have the ability to play great golf? but you're afraid you'll skull your bunker shot or fat your wedges or three putt? Do you feel confident standing over a shot when the pressure's on? 
Do you see other people in your foursome making the kind of shots you want and just have no idea how they're doing it? Why you can't score low consistently? Are you thinking way too much about the results? Will I slice it, shank it, skull it, miss hit it, hook the ball? Have you ever learned the perfect pre-shot routine? Do you feel embarrassed when you can't find your ball in the first tee and hit it out of bounds? Take a penalty stroke to start your round and know it's gonna be a long five hour round? Are you losing 10 strokes around in bad strategy and penalty strokes? Are you secretly fed up spending yet another frustrating round while your friends look on wondering what the hell happened to your game? Golfing for years and still cannot shoot par. You've got to be pissed because you know you have all the talent in the world. Deep down, do you secretly believe that you're way better than you play? You're smart, you practice, you're athletic, but are terrified you'll never achieve it? Does any of this sound like you? My promise to you is a step-by-step -step strategy to consistently score in the low 70s and have total control over your game. If you want to win your club championship, have more fun and shoot par, take some notes if this is your goal. So if any of that sounds like you, then I have good news. Those are not the real problem. The real problem, you haven't made what I call the shifts. We're going to talk about exactly what those are in just a moment. But for now, just know this, once you make them, you'll become a birdie-making machine and score in the low 70s. And you'll have complete control over your entire golf game, putt lights out, play the course strategically with confidence, and score in the low 70s. You'll generate more birdie opportunities by using an effortless, powerful, and repeating swing that establishes the foundation for playing well. Your friends will cheer you on as you consistently hit more fairways, greens and regulation, and drain more birdie fights. You get to play with more confidence and most importantly, have fun again. You'll finally end the round with a feeling of accomplishment, a sense of pride and towering self-confidence as the game gets more and more enjoyable. Your friends and other members will start asking you to play with them because you can actually score low and not hold them up. They'll even ask what you've been doing to score so well. How fun will this be? So who am I? My name is Dean Chitrin. I'm a Titleist Performance Institute certified level three golf instructor. Work with Dr. Greg Rose, Dave Phillips, James Siegman, all the guys from the Titleist Performance Institute for several years. I work with Bob Toski, one of the best golf coaches of all time, and the leading money winner on the PGA Tour in 1954 for all you older guys like myself. I know what it takes physically, mentally, emotionally, and strategically for the average golfer to break par. I've had some amazing golf instructors, coaches, and been to almost all the golf schools, including Dave Peltz, and after all the years of playing, teaching, and coaching high-level golf performance, I discovered five shifts that the average golfer and what my students use that they can actually use to shoot par in three months. So discovering the five shifts. There are five shifts that you must know to consistently shoot par and score in the low 70s every time you go play golf. And I'm going to reveal them to you in just a moment. Shift number one, make the mindset shift. Golf is a game of confidence and competence. Now I'm not saying a player who lacks physical skills can just transform overnight. You have to attain a level of skill to play well. I know this might seem strange to you, but ask yourself, do you believe deep down that you can actually shoot par. I'm not saying this to be harsh. I've seen this over and over again. It's your own inner voice that determines whether or not you'll quit or succeed. No matter how long you practice a golf swing, 
no matter how skilled you become, your muscles alone can't remember it and execute it when the need arises on the golf course. It's a mindset. If your internal belief system isn't fully aligned with your external actions, you will fail. And unless you have a mind functioning well when you play golf, your muscles are going to flounder. If your head is filled with bad thoughts, your scorecard is going to be full of bad strokes. And having controlled your mind and using it properly can separate you from your competition, whether it's at your club or on the PGA Tour. By simply shifting what you believe is possible for yourself, you can dramatically change your scores. And I believe every golfer has the potential to be much better than he or she is, and that using your mind is one of the essential ways to improve quickly. The bottom line, there are tens of thousands of golfers that can shoot low 60s that never make the PGA Tour because they buckle under pressure and don't have the mindset of a champion that wins. Jack Nicklaus said it best, eight, golf is 80% mental, 10% ability, and 10% luck. Jim Flick said golf is 90% mental, and the other 10% says mental too. That's really what he said. Michael Jordan stated that he has shot many more baskets in his mind than he ever did on the court. Just in the past two years, you can look at Bryson DeChambeau with five wins and Justin Rose winning the Tour Championship all because of shifting their mindset. Almost every top professional golfer on tour uses a sports psychologist or a hypnotist. Shift number two, learn the SMB sequence. Stability, mobility, and balance. Most golfers have the sequence all wrong and it's costing bad shots and miss it way too often because their body and brain can't get in alignment with stability, mobility, and balance in the right sequence. Stability, mobility, and balance are the key to sequence. Most golfers have never been taught how to use the body properly and their golf muscles are never activated in the golf swing. Each segment of the body builds on the previous segment, increasing speed in the kinematic sequence. Either your brain does not know how to separate the proper swing or your muscles are weak or too stiff to have the proper sequence. Your body is an actual machine that propels the golf club and the kinematic sequence is the correct order of movements for the pelvis, the thorax, and the arms and the club to release. If you get this wrong or you can't do it, you'll never play consistent great golf. None of this matters if your body is not working efficiently. You lose power and distance, you lose control and accuracy. Stability and mobility are key. So the body works in an alternating pattern of stable segments connected by mobile joints. If this pattern is altered, dysfunction and compensation will occur. If you get this wrong, you actually go backwards and here's why. Speed. This is why aimlessly hitting balls in the range can harm your scores and hinder your ability to get better on the course. All great ball strikers begin by generating speed from their lower body and transferring that speed through their torso, into their arms, and into the club. Hips, torso, arms, club. Train your body, train your brain together is the key to lower scores, getting more distance on your drives, your irons, and laser light accuracy. So here's a case study. When Dave came to me, his body was all jacked up. Horrible back pain, wanted to quit golf. So the first thing we did was a 16 point fitness assessment to find out what his limitations were with his body. And then we quickly got some relief by doing some flexibility and training his golf muscles and training his brain to activate those golf models, muscles. And Dave just turned 49 and is in the best shape of life, but most importantly, has the body to play golf without back pain. And he has 290 yard drives again. So shift number two is stability, mobility, and balance. We gotta take a look at your entire body to see what's not working in your swing. So shift number three is the secret weapon. 
It's the integrated process. But before we get into the secret weapon, let's run through all the stuff that doesn't work. First of all, the old way. It's obvious that the old ways have not worked for your scores, your mindset, your enjoyment of the game, and has led to frustration and maybe anger and throwing golf clubs. So the old way, reading golf articles, looking for the next tip in the, in the magazine. You watch YouTube videos hoping you will crack the code. You get tips from friends, friends that cannot shoot par and off, often struggle like you do. You play more rounds and hope it works. Playing more actually ingrains bad habits deeper into the subconscious mind. Aimlessly hitting balls in the range without a complete practice routine. This is key, not having a specific process for training the skill and then practicing it to a performance standard and then measuring that progress. Watching the golf channel, you're hoping you'll get the next holy grail from TV. Get a few lessons here and there. Look, lessons are great if it's designed for one outcome. Shooting par consistently or hitting your goals, whatever they be. Teeing off without warming up. I see so many people do this. This is so common in golf and it's a big reason why you cannot score low. Never really practice on your short game. 65% of all strokes on a scorecard come from short game skills and mastery. So you hack it around the course and hope one day you'll figure it out decades later. So the old way and some of the flaws. 64% of players lose their posture. Losing your posture means loss of balance, which causes inconsistency. 64% of players early extend. When you early extend, the brain tries to take over to compensate for what is going wrong, which is wrong sequence and being out of balance. 56% of players cast. You lose tons of distance and you chunk the ball or skull the ball. You lose power, you lose control and you have some type of compensation. 43% of all players are over the top. I'm surprised this isn't more, but be ready for a massive slice or a big pull if you're coming over the top. 38% of all players have reverse spine. Ouch. This is the number one cause of lower back pain in golf. Reverse spine angle. Number one cause of lower back pain. 37% of players sway. A body that sways is a body out of balance. Just like when you're driving your car and it's out of balance, performance goes way down. 35% of players have a chicken wing. It is very likely that your lead arm is weak and your arm is unable to rotate around the shoulder. The old way caused a lot of back pain, neck injuries, and jacked up swings. So now let's get in the new way of playing great golf and scoring in the low 70s and shooting par in the next three months. The new way is the integrated process and we live and breathe by the integrated process because it's the best way to train the brain and the body to perform on the golf course. We'll cover three things, body activation, neurological brain training and technical skill mastery. So body activation, how it works. Before you do anything, you need to make sure that your body is capable to correctly access golf specific muscles. This is what we call the body swing connection. There's a million different ways to swing a golf club, but there's only one efficient swing based in your body. Titleist Performance Institute has, has studied all the greatest swings on the PGA Tour and found that there are an infinite number of ways to swing a golf club, but it's all based on what your body is capable of doing. It's all about using your body to your advantage rather than trying to swing in spite of it. And this is all based on data. So let's take a step back for a second and talk about body activation. If your brain and your muscles are not working together, or if your muscles in your body are unable to actually make a certain type of movement, it's gonna cause all types of flaws and inconsistency, loss of power and high scores. So the next, the next thing is neurological brain training, how it works the neurological process. Scientists have found that training your brain is the key to playing great golf on the course for low scores. Golf is like riding a bike. They're both motor control skills. 
once you learn your golf swing, it's there forever. So all the bad habits that you have now are permanent, but we have a choice. You can rewrite a new book, a new pattern, a new golf swing with specific brain training, or you can learn around your limitations in your body. You have a choice. Your brain has developed a blueprint of how to swing based on your body, its limitations, and your weaknesses. So we train the body and the brain new motor skill patterns and then make them a subconscious habit under pressure and rewrite an entirely new book. And once you understand how to activate the golf muscles, then you have a blueprint on how to build neurological connection so that you can retrain it and then transfer it to the course where it really counts. So there's no such thing as muscle memory in golf. It all relies on motor control skills or brain training. So let me repeat this. There is no such thing as muscle memory in golf. It is a motor control skill. You must have an integrated process on how to practice so you can transfer to the course and score low. This is where mastery comes into play. By training a skill first and then practicing it with an integrated process, you can quickly transfer it to the scorecard on the course to shoot par. This is how you build an effortless, repeating swing that works under pressure. The integrated swing process, neurological brain training, is really what you need if you want to score in the low 70s in three months or less. So how it works, the technical skill. First, you commit yourself to developing both your physical, mental, and technical skills. It's likely that you've never been taught how to practice. So what do we practice and how do we practice it correctly and efficiently? Whether it's chipping, putting, pitching, bunker, long irons, and drivers. The easiest shot in golf is a greenside bunker, but you've probably never been taught how to do it. So the technical skill, there's a correct way how to practice, there's a correct way of what to practice. Now, function versus style. So Jim Furyk versus Ernie Els. Their style is drastically different, but their fundamentals are the exact same. That's technical skill mastery. Mastering the fundamentals is mastery. And once you get the proper fundamentals correct, then it becomes very easy to master. And the integrated process works for you, not against you. So use the secret weapon, the integrated swing process. You activate the body, you train your brain, you develop the skill, and you transfer it to the course for performance. So great news is you guys have a choice. You can spend another decade with your current swing, or you can build an entirely new golf swing rather quickly and rewrite a new book of motor control skills. These new skills become a subconscious habit and now you can actually go play golf, not play golf swing on the course. Let's take a look at another case study. When Trevor came to me, he didn't have a complete practice routine, had no process, and didn't know how to activate his golf muscles that create power. And he never broke 80 after 20 years of golf and the old ways of learning. And that really pissed him off. You know, he's 47 years young, speaks from the stage, successful in business, but cannot put a tiny white ball in a hole in less than 80 strokes and it pisses him off. And after working with us, just after three months of using the mind-body connection for skill set and mindset and implementing our body swing connection with the integrated process, Trevor's having a whole lot more fun beating all his buddies. And bottom line, he's healthy, his body is activated with the muscles, this leads into shift number four, course intelligence. We all know that it only takes 11 pars and seven bogeys to shoot in the 70s. And when you get course intelligence and strategy dialed in correctly, you too can trickle into par and low 70s range. Many golfers struggle with this part of the game because they focus on the results. And the reason you struggle is you've never been taught strategy. You've never been trained how to develop discipline. And when you make a shift in how to actually focus on dominating the course and playing smart, your scores will reflect your discipline to implementing it. 
advanced statistical analysis has been taking over the golf world for years. Course intelligence is more than just club selection. It encompasses expectation management, strategy, psychology, course conditions. Course intelligence gives you optimal targets based on your distances, trouble surrounding the hole, and a few other factors based on science and statistics. And all can be trained into your integrated process with a very simple technique. Strategy in golf is linked to psychology. Your mental state before each shot can have a huge impact on the quality of your decisions. This is one of the biggest reasons for inconsistent play. Shot to shot, hold to hole, from front nine to back nine, inconsistency. It's all your decisions. And the majority of players end up making bad decisions because they can't control their emotions. Golf is hard because we are human. You're not a machine. Golf is the most character building and humbling sport on the planet. Why do you think Ben Hogan and Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas, and Tiger Woods won so many majors? It's the number one key we use to control our thoughts, our feelings, our wellness, and our attitudes. And when you learn the process to intelligently master your emotions, your mindset, and have a bulletproof course management strategy, you too can shoot par in the next three months. Here's another great case study, Colin. Colin used to score in the 70s in high school. He actually had the skill and talent, but lost it. But when he came to me, he was scoring in the mid 80s and even sometimes in the 90s and had absolutely no process or routine. And we spent 90% of the time on his beliefs, emotions, psychology, and how to practice course intelligence and then implement and effectively transfer to the scorecard course. So Colin actually went from 86 the first time that we played to shooting a 74 the next time we played, mostly from playing the course strategically and having his process dialed in, especially during hitting his putts and chipping with the pre-shot routine. So shift number five, get help. Find a mentor, Michael Jordan, Every elite golfer from Tiger Woods to Jack Nicklaus and Brooks Kepa have coaches, mentors, and a team of experts. Every player on the PGA Tour has some type of coaching from swing coaches, fitness coaches, nutrition experts, and mindset coaches. A great coach will spot your weaknesses, highlight your strengths, so you can take care of your game to the next level. Why does coaching and mentorship work? You can turn decades into days by knowing what to train, how to train, and get instant feedback and maximize your time and your results. How much progress did you make last year, last month, last decade? How happy are you with your current results? If you're not happy, you need a new mindset, a new plan, and you need accountability. You need a coach. So today I promised how to become a par and birdie make machine without having to hit thousands of balls at the driving range. How to add 10, 20, or even 30 yards to your drives even if you've lost distance over the years. Why three putting is costing you double bogey and worse and how to stop at dead in its tracks and start sinking more birdie putts. Three reasons why you can't be a great putter. You don't know how to read a green, you can't hit your line, and you don't know how to control your distance. How to spin the ball with your wedges even if you've never done it before. How to master your bunker play without the dreaded skull. You'll learn the easiest shot in golf. The simple strategy to an effortless, powerful, repeating golf swing that hits more fairways and greens of regulation like clockwork, even when the pressure's on. How to have the kind of game that's so consistent and so repeatable that you become the go-to guy for advice of your club or gal. You may even win your club championship if that's your goal. How to stay calm and confident be that go-to guy or gal others talk about back at the clubhouse because you know how to control and dominate your mindset and emotions and course intelligence. How to do all this without hitting thousands of golf balls or spending 30, 40 hours a week at the driving range aimlessly hitting balls. What you need to shoot par. Make the mindset shift. I believe everyone listening to this can shoot par. And deep down, you believe it too. You just decide to do it today. Learn the SMB sequence. 
stability, mobility, and balance. When you get your golf muscles awake and activate your body and your brain, you can keep in balance to hit powerful and accurate golf shots consistently. Use the secret weapon. When it comes to training for performance and transferring to the scorecard, this is critical, having an integrated process. Master course intelligence, controlling your emotions, using strategy management, and the best tactics is one key to dropping 10 strokes from your scorecard. Invest in a mentor and coaching. We all know that success leaves clues. Surround yourself with a mentor who has done it successfully and turn decades into days with specific guidance and accountability. Now, if this is what you want, if this is what you truly want, then here's what I have for you to be able to shoot par in the next three months. You have a choice. You get to decide what the rest of your life around golf is gonna be. You wanna be a hack or you wanna be a player. You have a choice. So how can I help? My team and I have set aside some time in the next 48 hours to speak with you personally about how you can apply these ideas to your training and your practice and get into the low 70s starting today. Whatever your biggest challenges are, I've seen them and I know how to overcome them. Maybe you're tired of chunking the ball, struggling with three putty or even six footers. Maybe you lost distance on the tee box. You struggle hitting the fairway. Whatever it may be, I've seen it and I know how to overcome them. We're going to identify where you are currently and exactly where you want to go and see if we can get you there in the fastest way possible. Maybe by the time you get to the clubhouse, you're tired, frustrated, or even angry with how you played, how you scored. Let's identify where you are and where you wanna go. On this session, we will work with you to craft a step-by-step -step game plan to hit your golf goals today. Whether that's scoring in the 70s for the first time or shooting par and having the type of golf game that you deserve. We'll uncover the root cause, not just the symptoms, of why you play bad and why you can't score low 70s. But we'll put together a plan that you can win your club championship. You're gonna leave this session with absolute clarity on what you need to do to shoot par. And quite frankly, what needs to change to build the absolute best body, mindset, and golf game of your life to score in the low 70s. Every student that I work with has more fun scoring in the 70s. They're more fit, they have a better quality of life, and they seem a lot happier. So the cost, the cost is absolutely free. Yes, the cost is free, but there is a catch. First, you have to decide you wanna shoot par. Second, you have to commit to doing it. So who is this for? This is for committed, ambitious, passionate golfers. Not the weekend warrior, part-time players. You guys absolutely love the game, you wanna train, you wanna practice, and you wanna play the best golf of your life. You must be an action taker, follow direction, and commit to a new way of learning. We just don't wanna argue with bad habits. You must be willing to invest both time and money in yourself. People spend tens of thousands of dollars on memberships and equipment. Those that shoot par, they invest in coaching and mentorship, as well as training and proper practice. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I believe that all human beings have unlimited potential. And when you are ambitious, driven and love the game of golf like I do, it's not as hard as you might think to shoot par. And when you make a decision to shoot par and then you commit to it with correct training and coaching, you too can do this. Now I know that you might want my help to completely transform your body, mindset, skill set, and golf game and win your club championship. Whatever, whatever your ambitions are in golf, let's jump on the call, review your golf swing, and put together a real solid plan for shooting par over the next three months. And if your goal is to win your club championship, we can discuss that and see if we're a good fit. If not, that's fine too. So go to this link. You'll be taken to my calendar page. Pick a time, and then you'll be directed to fill out a short form. The call will be super fun since we're going to review your golf swing on the call and put together a really good plan for you to be able to score in the low 70s to shoot par in the next three months. 
www.deanchitrin.com forward slash apply. Go to this link. You'll be taken to my calendar page. Pick a time, fill out a short form, send in your video. Let's jump on a call. Let's have some fun and let's put together a great plan to shoot par and score in the low 70s in the next three months. See you soon. Thank you.